One thing's for sure, they're going to idle it up, and in the next month, the next month or so, they got a lot of games that they're going to have to be ready to go for sure. To be how much time was on the clock? They took their time and they ran their offense, and it was effective. Just in case anybody not sure, you're home with 21. Carter swatted out of there by Whaley. Man, is he having an impact late in this ball game? Martin goes coast to coast. Play there. Lauer's got it back. Missed the three. Martin on the leak out. All the way at him. And he, he was open about it. They had a 14-day quarantine. They came back last Thursday. He wasn't sure if they'd be ready to go. This is the putback there for Tyrese Martin. He wasn't. On our second game, we're going to get a chance to see the season debut of James Carnick. And a jumper goes down right there for Tyrese Martin. Go, Gaffney. Martin, left hand wouldn't fall, but he's fouled. Great deep. We'll go the other way. Good work by Whaley to come up with a block. Martin inside. Left hand is good. Booked up. Inside. Had it rejected. Martin collects. Martin hangs. And he'll go to the line and shoot two. Up and under. Oh, boy. And that goes for Tyrese Martin. Nice shot. Pretty sure this was supposed to go off glass for Martin. That is not an easy shot. Moby's right there. It's almost like he thinks it's such a bad shot that he's not going to block it. He's kind of in the small ball look. Bishop, though, has been reliable at that position. Late in the shot clock, book night. Forced to give it up underneath to Martin for the reverse slam. That's a beautiful basketball. Looked like it was going to be a reverse layup. Instead, a double pump slam. Sunoco, big fella, looking opposite. Huskies. Up into you defensively, pressure man to man, and they're going to try to be great on the glass. And an early touch for Book Knights. I was thinking about Kansas saying he sat one and played one, but you don't really sit in practice at. Again. Instead, it's Martin who tries the three and spins it in. Book Knight off the ball. Martin draws the D, so the reversal, Brendan Adams. A big time oh. score about how you go create contact. Book Knight blocks. Huskies get it back again. Cole floater. Martin. Elvis and Pauly Cap are coming back for DePaul next chance. Cole. Book Knight gets it back and then finds Martin for three of a great look from James Book Knight. They belong. It just, yeah, it feels right. Yeah, absolutely. Carlton, and how about sticking with it, Martin? So Team, or they've been soft in their double team. If you're going to come double, you got to come shoulder to shoulder and come quick. Martin coming quick to the rim. Push in transition, Tyrese Martin over the top. Now, UConn is loving it. Martin handles it, already a double-double. Martin, strong to the hole with a left hand. Book Knight has the assist, his second. And now Book Knight leading the Huskies on the run again. Floats it to the rim. And this UConn team so physical at times. How will they operate, Chris, without their scoring star? And can push the basketball where they don't have to score against the teeth of that UConn defense. Transition is their best bet. On the inside, opening nice there ball. for Tyrese Martin to transfer from Rhode Island, able to knife in for two. College, high school. Chuck Harris, team high, 18 points, four threes in the last win against Georgetown. Nice extra effort. Is he not known as really a three-point shooter? He wants to drive the basketball, stay in the stands, corral him, and keep him in front of you. Get their three-point shooters open. Force them to make plays off the bounce. 
not what they do best. Martin will try it from range, and good. Tyrese Martin, his holly with those four first half threes. Had a touch, gave it up. Jumper for Whaley, no. Martin with the second effort. So good, I mean, just athletic. And the interesting part, Coach Jordan talking about the growth of his freshman while Thompson was back out. Martin hoisting a three and sticks it. That's his second. The, the shots that UConn are giving them, like those circus shots, I'm sure he could make those in the game of horse, but it's tough when you're playing out here against the UConn Huskies. And Mr. Martin and Mr. Polly are team to be. And uh, they're playing within themselves, getting the ball to the guys that are supposed to be the scorers. I think they're really good. I think the ball movement and player movement needs to manufacture the offense. Really got to cut hard screen and not rely on book night. Certainly that's a good place to go early, though. Tyrese Martin, a versatile guard that can post up. Confidence and in a good frame of, Ryan, frame of mind right away. All their post players, though, really good at the rim defensively. Whaley can block shots. The same with a cook. A cook who will be coming off the bench. And what about the move for Martin? He's now got four as he connects on the jumper in the lane. Shot clock down to 10. Cold to Martin. Need help. Got a mouse in the house. He had two quick ones. Can't finish here. Oh, they're going to call goaltending. Give him the basket. And he's now got six. Early in possessions is important for DePaul. We show the numbers. UConn's great defensively. Don't let them set up. And here's Martin again breaking your back. He's now got eight points tonight. Drive for Gaffney to Martin. Left-hand finish will not go. Got his own rebound. And before the horn, a foul. Go down. Starting to find some other guys at the offensive end if you're DePaul. Great cut. Great pass. He gets it going right, and he's almost unstoppable. Cole for an answer in the corner game. His two years at Howard transferred, set out last year, and now trying to make it happen for the UConn Huskies. Turnover. Opportunity at the rim. Converted by Martin. And UConn now leads it one more time. 52 fit over 20 times tonight. Four of those by Charlie Moore. Here's your guy Martin spinning in the lane and drawing the foul. And he'll get two. And they do. Nice cut. And a nice finish for Martin. And who sets the back screen? Two turnovers for DePaul. Martin on the drive. He went early in the shot clock, earlier than I would have thought. But it doesn't matter because he gets the finish. He's been clutch 18 points now. And a 7-0 UConn run has given them a 59-53 lead. 58 seconds to go. But how about Tyrese Martin? No James Booknight, no problem. Great execution on the baseline out of bounds for the catch and finish. And then how about the drive and the left-handed finish? Have a night, Tyrese Martin. Someone's open in the corner. Splash. Trying to get after it. And they send guards. That's what's important. Roberts lost that one. A lot of teams will rely on their bigs to rebound. UConn does a great job of sticking their nose in from every position on the floor. It's UConn. St. John's. How'd you guess, man? <laughs> For UConn. Here's Shan Penny. That's the guy they need to start. Thank you. He went on an explosion, scored 18, 12 straight at one point. There's a steal, and Martin dunks it home. We're under 10 minutes left in the game. Here's Martin with two on the shot clock. Knocks it down. My favorites, but when the shot clock's running down, that's a smart play. Stolen. Martin. And the other way. Let's see. Oh. They're going to call the block. Here's Adams. Short. Follows good, though, by Martin. The athleticism. Adams. Martin. Open for three. Yes. To Brendan Adams. A good offense. You're not going to get a better look from that. Martin inside. And finally, the drought is broken. Tyrese Martin down the lane. Bishop waiting. Martin with the offensive putback. 
There's Martin. Sizing up Bala. Jumper, no, but he'll go to the line with a chance to take the lead. Here's Martin attacking. Oh! Down the left side of the lane. Goes to the right side and finishes. Very nice work by Tyson. Night and day. Cole turns the corner. Martin open from three, and that falls. This kid is getting over either shoulder with his shot. RJ Cole with the steal. And a layup up and good for Martin. Now into the game for UConn. Daphne, the sophomore, Columbus, New Jersey. Oh, tough angle. Shot up and good by Martin. Irish Martin. Into the attack mode. Pretty good going to the rim. Martin left alone. Tyrese Martin. How about that? Tremendous enthusiasm at Campbell. Good interior pass and the finish with the reverse by Sunogo. Whaley, another blocked shot. Plenty of time. Martin. Gonna have to do something. Hangs and hits. And UConn with momentum as they head into the halftime locker room. Shot clock's at five. Martin is bumped on his way to the cup, and he'll go to the free throw line. Well, we have seen him do. Brown does a nice job keeping busy. Body's flying. Martin trying to take advantage, and he does. He's got That's 13 points. A... Just one for eight shooting the basketball. I like him going to the rim or down on the box. Martin and a foul. It's called on size and dominated against them. Unable to convert at the rim. Swooping with the left hand is Martin. And the shot is too high. Well, he had Martin right outside. Again, he's got him. Oh, big night. Tyrese Martin. Uh, a little lady getting it to him. Yeah, that one's stolen away. Maybe this will help Martin get going here. Drive blocked by Molson. May have gotten bumped on the way. The block came secondarily just then. I just love the way Seton Hall's packing it in. Any drive is being contested. And there's a three finally by Martin. Again, second best three-point shooter in the Big East. Make sure you're forcing Seton Hall to play you. Put the ball, there you go. Put it down. Make something happen. Martin does it. Smart. Smart. Now all of a sudden, 13. Freshman. He didn't want to shoot that one. Nope. Took it in, rejected by Obiagu. And you got Martin. And shot clock. Martin drives and hangs. And he'll go right back to the line. A little push, a little energy. Pretty good without the balls. We saw that last trip at the other end. Martin sticks to three. Kid stuff. Like his game. Good shot. And big basket against the pole to tie. Get him into overtime. Tyrese Martin. Mm. Jump stop and shoot it. Not a floater drifting away from the hoop. Huge game for both of these teams. Martin. Nice oh, and look out. And that's where he excels, I think. Does a great job. Oh, a turnover. <laughs> Jump ball. Interesting enough, you've got back to single digits. Duke just gave it away. Back to back turnovers. Martin takes it in. Gets the blocking foul. And now with nothing. Near turnover. Jackson. I don't think he got beat the buzzer. Oh, and Martin can't stick it. On the third try, UConn gets it back to a seven point game. No, it's, it's still one away. The sixth team oh, foul. Well, 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 excuse me. And Martin, they get the two there. Con is taking early opportunities and not not waiting for that clock to get too low. I mean, they're just and that it, it, now you have opportunities yep. like that. And you feel good about yourselves. The team comes together. You're on the road. Shots of the first half and had two points and misses the three there. Great Euro step and a strong finish from Martin. Love that kid too. He's got two threes now for the transfer from Gardner Webb. Here's Martin backing down Johnson and he takes advantage with that height size that he has. Seen that a couple times today. Kunkel, nice kick out to Scruggs. 
But his off afternoon continues. Oh, well, you got to find Andre Jackson. In transition, getting out ahead of the defense. I love this. Well, they play Tuesday. I, that, that's what I'm eyeing, is that Tuesday. Because it's about six weeks from when it happened. Yeah, for book night. Yeah, for book night. Offensive board, Martin. Count the bucket and the foul. Tyrese Martin flexing his muscles at Cincy. Is, I mean, that is a guy who can score the ball. And another block shot this time by Martin, at least that we're recruiting him. And he's from Teaneck, New Jersey, and he was vocal about wanting to play in the Big East. Nice finish. Tyrese Martin off the spin. Basket. Great drop off, but Whaley had it knocked free. Now Martin out to call. Here's the guy. Yes, again, a season high 23. A very good Xavier team without question. And again, their first practice as a team was Thursday. Great feed, Martin with a finish, and all of a sudden that lead is 14 points. And even before we got to 17 seconds to go, they, they just looked like a different team after they fought their way back after the huge end of the year. Ed Cooley's guys turned it on 11 and 10. They need to run. This is a big game for them, as well as UConn, too, when you're talking about NCAA aspirations. The kiss delivery by Martin on the run. Brother Bobby. Of course, Chris and Melissa, so much involved in the program at St. Anthony's as well. Tyrese Martin on the scanner report. They can play off him. He's got a wonderful field turn to Jim Calhoun earlier, saying he just understands the game. That may have been a backcourt violation. Book night. Yeah, Martin's a good option. Tyrese yeah, Martin, Martin's get, got seven get points. Him, get him involved a little bit. This is Martin on cue. Tyrese Martin. Here's Martin. Just elevate. Tap through with the left hand by Martin. Good stick to it this. Final five minutes of our first half. Nice little play. Little reverse action with a double. Not a good pass, though. Numbers for UConn. Martin with the left hand. Consecutive games. Hotter than fish grease. This is Martin. He's got a game high 13. He's got a game high 16. That's a triple. Goodness gracious. And that kind of night for David Duke. Martin. Quick ups for Tyrese Martin. How about the pass? Nine five. Martin. Kind of a glue guy for this UConn team. Left hand, high off the glass and in. And Tyrese Martin, who had 18 against Providence, 10th ranked team in the nation. And 10 points out of the gate for him, Gus. Really with a nice look, but look who's there. Terrific offensive rebounder, Martin. Connecticut former Seton Hall star coach. Remember when we used to call the games in the Big East Network? Martin draws contact years ago, 20-something years ago. We were calling Danny Martin blocked by Polly. Martin, Cole, they need to hit a shot. Can't do it. Loose ball, rebounded Martin, and count the basket. Mike Stevens right there on the call. As pronounced and sinking its teeth into you, but that all starts with getting stops. Cole stops, starts, gets in the paint. Extra pass, score it. Good job by Martin to find Whaley. What great instincts from Tyrese Martin. That was outstanding. Booknight's been quiet lately. Martin, by design, off the window. I sure hope it was by design. <laughs> another turnover. Belay ahead of the pack. And another blocked shot on what would have been a dunk. Booknight. Polly. He can stroke it. Man back. And loose ball goes to UConn. Martin circus shot. The left-handed layup falls. Oh. A foul is Kush Carlton with the dribble handoff to Book Knight, who gives it up to Cole. Martin posting up. Using the left hand nicely. That's what you call discipline. Me to shoot that shot. That's just getting your work done early on the post defensively. One extra pass. Thing of beauty. They had the triangle working, and the beautiful dump down from Andre Jackson helped enable that bucket. Kathy. 
I thought Colton was passing that. Didn't matter. Martin gets another offensive rebound. And uh, will take the garbage hoop. Is typically star in their roles as well. There's Martin with the board, and he can take it after he rakes it. And drop it off for Whaley. They have been playing much better basketball, including the win over Xavier. That's a tough one from Tyrese Martin. They've just not done anything to really stop. Oh! oh no, no, ahead no. Of steam. Martin has it rejected. Martin yeah. sticks with it. He's back to get it. Great pass. Martin, wow. Off the look from Andre Jackson. Hey, and a lot of ways he'll positively impact games at both ends. Ooh, Martin throws it in reverse. 50 on the board for the Huskies. So a bucket, but also a foul. Georgetown tries to apply some pressure, and that's how it goes. Martin. Well, they just had a lot of holes defensively have the hole. Made their way back to win that game. And now... Georgetown, no, oh, that, that is a rally record. And all the Eagles have to do is make it happen. Oh. The lay in tight, it has been tough at the rim. Really takes a bump from Pickett, play on. Martin attacks, finds Whaley, and watch out. There goes Isaiah Whaley off a good look. Shot, long rebound, no. Picked up by Tyrese Martin, new shot clock. Martin down the lane, and that one. Blocked. He's fouled hard. He's shot. Oh. Off the bounce. Baseline mark. Got it. Oh, so many options. Dribble gets a traction. Gaffney feeds to Nova. Nice spin out by the big guy. Pulls up. Flat. Mark. Carry the rebound as usual. And stick back. Oh, you got to stick him, Gus. You want to be sound, get good shots, balance the floor, and don't turn it over. He said good night. Whoa! Ooh, a little showtime. Sonogo. Boy, Sonogo really did a nice job on the defensive end, but speaking of defense, unselfish player as well. He, a little pirouette. Send it in. Not your own, but simply attractive game. Really again now, the diagonally. Oh, Mark, oh. and five. Well, he really had to lob it. Hey, hey, Whaley nice. scoops it out to Martin. Baseline jump shot goes. Well, that's the pass fake. That's pretty. Home County. Holly oh. Cap turns it over and commits a foul as he knocks down Tyrese Mart. 14 for Connecticut. His career high is 16. Ball blocked. Martin squeeze it in. 41-41. Baseline Tyrese Mart gathers, doubles, balls. Tipped up and in. Looks like by Jefferson. Really kind of contained. They don't let you get dribble penetration. Book Knight unable to penetrate the seam of that defense, but Sonogo on the glass. Martin as well. Darius Hamilton into the game. The foul previously was on Sonogo. Denied! Ayala got off to the hot start. Makes his way to the rim. 